More than 50 years ago, around 7,000 inspectors kept an eye on the way how Volkswagen's cars were made. And after the inspector's check, as the old TV commercial mentioned, But any car that gets to the end of that long line of inspectors is a Volkswagen. But today the question is more like this. As the scandal weighs around Volkswagen on Monday, the U.S. regulators found that other models contained illegal software to cheat emissions. On Tuesday, Volkswagen scandal spread to carbon dioxide emissions, found in around 800,000 cars sold mainly in Europe. Volkswagen is called cheater now. Last Sunday, Erdogan won back his parliamentary majority with a clear victory of his Justice and Development Party. But so far, press freedom in Turkey is still a major issue in this country. But by showing more a broader understanding for Erdogan, the European Union may have played a role in his victory. At least, this is what suggested the Greek analyst Bloch. Going to the Czech Republic now, where free Wi-Fi arrived on the street of Prague with the help of homeless people providing Wi-Fi hotspots to tourists. The idea comes from the Czech charity association's Wi-Fi for Life. This makes the bus. To wrap up before, yeah, have a look at this European initiative called Colossus of Roads Project, aimed to revive one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The project is led by young architects and engineers coming from Greece, Spain, Italy and the UK. The video was already watched by more than half a million of people. That's it for this week. For more euphoria and links to this week's content, check our YouTube channel and website uranetplus-insight.eu. Thanks for watching and see you next time.